Sananda, our actions. Dear sons, and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again, and I will never tire of saying it, it is with great joy, and great gratitude that, I come here once again. My heart is filled with much love, if that, is possible, because the love I have for this planet, and for each inhabitant that lives on it, is an infinite love, I would say impossible to grow more. But for God the Father, Mother, and for each one of us, evolved beings, there is never a limit. So I can indeed affirm that this love, grows every day. Watching closely the consciousness, and the minds of each one of you is a moment of great joy, and pleasure for me. I would say that not only for me, but for all the beings of light who, today place their eyes, and attention on this planet, and its inhabitants. When we started this journey of enlightenment, of change, of battles to overcome the non-light, of course we knew the outcome of everything. We always knew we would be victorious. It was just building the middle of the story that would take a lot of planning, and a lot of love for all of you. And so we have done. Each planning carefully thought out, carefully tested, endless times, and we can say that almost 100% of the time, we had no surprises. Many times some small battles got out of hand, because they used, and use to this day, your consciousness. And this is for sure an extremely determining factor, for everything to work out, or not. But even so, we lost the battles, and today we are here, at this point in the road, where the central sunlight has already dominated, implanted, enveloped, every. I would call it a thing, but it's a very inexpressive term for the importance of this planet. So I would say that the light of the central sun, has enveloped every little energy that exists on this planet, be it in the form of an atom, be it in the form of a cell, be it in the form of a human, an animal, a stone, a crystal, it doesn't matter. All structures, all energies, are connected to the light of the central sun. Nothing on this planet is invisible to this light. Of course, those who cannot stand this light, have not done very well. Many have given themselves up voluntarily, no longer able to stand the pain they have been feeling in their bodies. Many are simply choosing to die, so that their souls can be cared for, and taken to where their journeys have taken them. To look at the consciousness that exists today in human beings on this planet is something that brings us great joy. Of course, we would like many more people to, have the awareness that you have today but their time will come. This moment is very close. I'm not going to justify myself, or explain why things don't appear to you. The great strategy in any battle is to take the enemy by surprise, to stop him from expanding, to stop him from making momentary, and extremely dangerous decisions. So today we can say that. I will call them enemies so that, it is easy for you to understand, this is not how we see them, but I will speak in your language. So today the enemy no longer has that communication network, which allowed them, with a simple command, to provoke an immense catastrophe all over the planet. Because those buttons that they used to push don't work anymore, they have all been destroyed. There is nothing more they can do against the planet. Like a mass destruction as they had predicted. One day you will know, one day you will see, how mined the ground of this planet was, not just below the surface, but in the very deep bowels of Gaia, so that with a single button, everything was destroyed. I assure you that they would no longer be on the surface, they would leave, and they would virtually wipe out the human race. But we would never allow this. Destroying these bases inside the earth, was the most difficult battle we had. But we must not forget who Ashtar Sharon is, our great commander. His strategy, and experience, never failed. So all the decisions taken by him, and never challenged by us, because of the total confidence we have in his ability, have always been victorious. 
So today, at this moment, when each one of you hears this message, each one in his own time, each one in his own moment, a lot is happening. Yes, you don't see it, yes, you don't hear about it, yes, you don't know what, it is. And this is how we are gaining ground, this is how we are conquering the surface of the planet. We are no longer inside it, we are no longer in the skies, because the skies are also cleared. All the openings, portals, and escape routes are very well controlled, and monitored, there is no way in, and out of this planet without going through the entire Ashtar Sharon fleet. So we are concentrating now on the surface of the planet on eliminating the living, and thinking heads of this planet. To make this happen is not an easy move. Taking down a leader of a country, is not an easy move. It is necessary to armor all the rest of the country, so that he also does not make any abrupt decisions, and cause the death of innocent people. Yes, don't be scared, there are leaders who are ready for this. The moment they are cornered, they want to destroy everything, no matter who will die. So realize that the actions are not easy, we need to eliminate any, and all risk to you. We understand the anxiety, we understand many times the lack of belief, because we talk, and talk, and talk, and nothing happens. Nothing happens in your eyes, because everything is happening. And when we have total security for each, and every inhabitant of this planet, then yes, that will be the final moment, the moment to remove each, and every one of these thinking heads, and take them away. They will not remain here. No, they will not be judged by human laws, because their actions go far beyond their own laws. These are actions that will be reviewed by the universal courts, by the universal laws. It is not you who will determine what the end of these thinking heads will be. Some are already falling naturally, without us having to do anything. And I tell you, they are desperate, because without their power in their hands, how can they threaten anything? And so, it is happening, but you see nothing, you observe nothing, everything is the same. So let it be so, let you keep realizing that everything is the same. Because the more you isolate yourself from this whole process, not putting the focus of fear, anxiety, on something that, is happening, the easier, it is for us to act. Effectively, we are a great team. We didn't decide to take back this planet, because we are amateurs, we are all very experienced. But our greatest weapon, the one that always gives us the certainty of victory, is the unconditional love we have in our hearts. It is letting the spark of Father, Mother God, not just be a spark, be far, far, far beyond us. We are contained within it, not it contained within us. And, it is exactly this love of Father, Mother God, this strength of this great energy, that always gives us the victory. And these enemies know this, that, is why they have prepared themselves for so long, to at the hour of escape, destroy this planet but we are not fools. We are not, and at no time did we do, what they expected us to do. And that was the strategy, which allowed us to destroy everything that was theirs, without them realizing it. When they realized, they had no more control over anything. We don't threaten, and then act, we act, and then inform. This has been our way of acting, we do, then we communicate. And that, is what you will get. Nobody will see anything happening right now, everything will have already happened, and you will just be informed. Because, if we did everything life, the very energy of those who follow these enemies, could cause mass disasters. So that, is not what we want. It will all be done by the time you are informed, and then our troops, our minds, will be focused exactly on those who think they can do something against you. And each one of these will be closely monitored, and, if necessary, taken off the planet. So once again, I want to remind you, you know the laws of men, you know laws that have been put in place by your religions, but there are higher laws than all of that, 
which are the universal laws. And as we act, we enforce the universal laws. We are not concerned whether you will condemn us, judge us, be angry with us, not understand us. I would just like each one of you, who happens to, have such a thought, to remember that you are now a free people, that you now owe no submission to anybody. And it will not be you who will judge, or condemn, or dispute what we have done. When it all happens, don't forget, that from that point forward you will be free, with no more submission of any kind. So learn, and exercise non-judgment. Learn, and exercise non-condemnation. Learn, and exercise think only as you have been taught to think. There are much higher laws that you don't know about, but, it is exactly these laws which allow us to keep the universe in balance. Because, if it were not, this universe you see today would be chaos. And Father, Mother God is not chaos, He is pure love. Yes, it will never cease to be. But we have to know how to deal firmly, against those who turn against this great energy. We have to keep the universe in balance. It is not you who will judge whether these laws are valid, or not. You are a people who are waking up now to the universe, but the universe has been around for billions, and billions of earth years. So who are you to condemn, or judge anything? The universal laws will be enforced on this planet, no matter who it hurts, no matter who agrees. So once again, I warn you, learn to live non-judgmentally, because this will also reverberate against you. Channel by Vania Rodriguez